Hey everybody, welcome back to Life Tips with Jay. I'm just kidding. Needless to say, these two years right here were difficult for everybody. Our lives were turned upside down. Many people were affected by the pandemic known as COVID-19. Obviously, our lives were changed forever. So I did something that was very therapeutic for me that I just wanted to share with you. It's a wonderful exercise, and I think will probably give you some hope and inspiration. So I sat down to look at these two years, and I made a list of everything that had happened within those two years to get me to this point, to where I started to be frustrated, started to really question a bunch of things, and, and really had to, once again, dig deep to find the faith that I have that God was sovereign in all things and that He had it all under control. So I started out with my list by this. Obviously, the first thing was COVID-19. Sucked for everybody. Second, canceling the Rascal Flats farewell tour. Right after that happened, we lost our 16-year-old dog, our little chihuahua, Priscilla, her passing. Shortly after Priscilla passed, my father passed. His name was Wayno. Everybody loved Wayno. The list just started to pile up and pile up as I looked down through everything that I'd been affected by. Everything from that to uh, we sold our house that we'd been in for 16 years, which had my recording studio in it, which I had so many emotional ties to. So selling the only home my kids had ever known. We had another little pup to replace Priscilla. Her name was Crystal and she passed a month into having her, Crystal's passing. My uh, sweet mother had started to battle early onset dementia. So mom's health. Uh, gosh, just our displacement by living in the rental that we're in right now while we're trying to find another home. So living in rental, out of boxes. I'll stop here for a second and say, it probably seems like maybe I'm throwing a pity party for myself. I'm not. I'm just listing all the things that were challenges in addition to this right here that made these two years different than any other years that we had lived through. Shortly after all of this happened, I developed a cyst on my eye. I'm giving you more information than you need to know, but a cyst that I have to have removed. So, eye cyst. Oh my gosh, we had a dog fall down the steps. She got a brain trauma from it. So, oh, and you gotta, you gotta keep going down here. It's fun to make a list like this. Dog falling down. Brain injury. I tore a tendon in my elbow. I forgot about that. Just last summer. So I've had to have three rounds of PRP injections to get my elbow straightened out. And the thing that sucks about that is I love to play golf, so I wasn't able to play golf to even take my mind off of any of this stuff that was happening. So, so that's a pretty big list. I could list more things if I stood here and thought about it really hard, but this is a good place to start. I sat back and I looked at this list and I started to think about how I felt when each one of these things happened in my life. I started to consider how with each one of these things, it would chip away at my hope. It would chip away at my feelings to move forward. Sometimes you just want to curl up in a ball when life hits you hard. And I started to realize it, like, it hit me like a bolt of lightning. I listed all this stuff, and about 10 minutes later, immediately, I picked up another color pen, and on my legal pad, I made the biggest X that I could possibly make through all of it. And you know why? Because none of it, none of it, none of this crap, None of the stuff that life tried to throw at me defeated me. None of it brought me to my knees and made me give up. So I'm saying that to say to you, make your list. If life has been tough for you, if you've lost loved ones, if you've lost your job, if you've found it hard to find the strength in the morning to get up and move forward, take one step and then take the next. More importantly, make your list Stand back and realize how many things that you've overcome in the last two years. And I promise you, you'll feel better at the end of the day about where you are in your own life. 